We're going to turn now to a remarkable showdown in the halls of Congress. Women members of the House taking the floor to condemn sexism and misogyny on Capitol Hill, led by the youngest member of Congress, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who rebuked Florida Congressman Ted Yoho for verbally assaulting her on the Capitol steps. Rachel Scott is in Washington with the story. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning. A speech like this is rare on Capitol Hill, but female lawmakers say the behavior is not. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez taking a stand against a culture she says is sexist and all too common. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez took her outrage to the House floor. In front of reporters, Representative Yoho called me, and I quote, These are the words that Representative Yoho levied against a congresswoman. Ocasio-Cortez says she was walking up the steps of the Capitol when her colleague, Florida Congressman Ted Yoho, put his finger in her face, calling her disgusting, crazy, and dangerous for suggesting poverty and unemployment have led to a spike in crime. The confrontation and alleged expletives overheard by a reporter. I do not need Representative Yoho to apologize to me. Clearly, he does not want to. Yoho did apologize, but not for the derogatory language. He denied using it. I rise to apologize for the abrupt manner of the conversation I had with my colleague from New York. Having been married for 45 years with two daughters, I'm very cognizant of my language. The offensive name calling uh, words attributed to me by the press were never spoken to my colleague. But it was his comments that prompted her to speak up. Having a daughter does not make a man decent. Having a wife does not make a decent man. Treating people with dignity and respect makes a decent man. I am someone's daughter too. My father, thankfully, is not alive to see how Mr. Yoho treated his daughter. I am here because I have to show my parents that I am their daughter and that they did not raise me to accept abuse from men. Now, Yoho says he cannot apologize for something he did not say, but more than a dozen female lawmakers say this is bigger than just this one incident. They believe there is a pattern of dehumanizing women that is all too familiar in our society and even in the halls of Congress. Yeah, George? it was really something to hear that personal testimony on the House floor. Okay, Rachel, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.